and then transverse in the mid abdomen. We start very high, come down through the left lobe of the liver. Here's celiac trunk. The little seagull right there. And then just below that is pancreas, so. Splenic vein runs over top of the superior mesenteric artery. All that gray tissue on top, that's pancreas. Spine, aorta, SMA, splenic vein, pancreas. And if we're really good, we can sometimes see there's right renal artery. There was left renal artery cutting down. And from here, we might as well follow the aorta all the way down. Now, I'll point out, sometimes as we're following the aorta, we look for the spine. If we catch the intervertebral disc, we can see the spinal canal sitting behind the disc. We want to follow the aorta until it splits into the right and left iliacs. Which is right there. So let's just look at the aorta in long axis. So up high on the abdomen here, we see the SMA comes off and runs vertically right in front of the aorta, the celiac trunk comes off and then splits off right away. And if we just fan to the patient's right a little bit and rock up towards the heart, we can see the IVC entering the right atrium. and the middle hepatic vein drains into the inferior vena cava. The aorta runs behind the heart, IVC runs into the heart. You see it collapsing and changing. We see liver on either side of the IVC, whereas aorta, there's no liver behind it.